I was rumbled at a dinner party after serving up a shop-bought pie and pretending I'd made it myself. <laughs> oh, David, right. what was in the pie? Steak and kidney. And what shop did you buy it from? I bought it from a local butcher. Did you make a big deal of saying, oh, look at my homemade steak and kidney pie, isn't it lovely? Yes. Unfortunately, I did, yes. Oh, oh. Did, did you... I waxed lyrical. And who were the people that you were trying to impress so much that you were homemaking, but you didn't know well enough to say, I just bought this from a, from a nice They were butcher. the parents of a good friend of mine who had been really kind to us, and I wanted to do something nice what, for what, them. What, what repay them by lying? <laughs> <laughs> How did they find out? That's yes. the question. That's the well, important issue, Carol. This was actually quite a bit awkward because we were all sitting there having a lovely meal, beautiful smells. I was saying, I'm so glad I've made this because I know steak and kidney is your absolute favourite. So, knife and fork in. How surprising. This is chicken and ham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Were well, you tempted to just go with it, pause, and then go, well, well how do you make it? <laughs> What happened when they realised your deceitful ways? Well, I had to really lie some more. <laughs> and I, had to think, I really <laughs> thought you were going to say, come clean. <laughs> no. Lie some more and say, I'm afraid, do you know one of the first signs of Alzheimer's <laughs> is thinking you're having chicken when in fact it's steak and kidney? It's a terrible thing. It means you've basically only got hours of consciousness left. <laughs> So what did you say, right. Carol? Well, I said, because they had thought that I'd cooked these, I yeah. said, well, I made a big batch of pies at the weekend and I made some chicken and ham and I made some steak and kidney oh, and I froze good. them all. That's ah. good. I took out the wrong that's ones. That's very good, actually. That's very good. Yeah. off our tongue. Oh, my God. Really? We have nothing to fear yeah. from climate change. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll just tell us what we want to hear. Yeah. It's all fine. Yeah. If you feel like you're drowning, that's in fact, it's a lovely sunny day. <laughs> so, David... What are you going to do think here? Well, I think it's genuinely, as it's hard to believe Carol would ever lie, but she's lying one way or another. Mm -hmm. So is she lying yeah. today or did she lie a long time ago? Mm -hmm. I prefer to think that she lied a long time ago. Yeah. In which case, she's telling the truth now. Although actually her lie now would, to be fair, be mitigated by the fact that that is the point of this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be devastated because... I've, I've, I've watched Carol and loved Carol for some period of time and I'll be slightly devastated and I'll have to take the shrine down that I've got in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll take that shrine down. She probably is telling the truth in that yeah. she, she lies. Don't, she don't throw the shrine away, by the way. Well, we can have a little chat about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, David, you think it's the I truth? I think we think it's true. You think it's the you truth? Right, true. Carol Kirkwood. Was it the truth or was it a lie? It was... The truth. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's true. Carol was rumbled at a dinner party after serving up a shop-bought meal and pretending she'd made it herself.